Hello and welcome to YouTube Gallifrey 2 So I've been away for a while, well five days, and I'm back. But more importantly, when is Doctor Who back? So yes, for 2017 Christmas special of Doctor Who will air this year on Christmas Day. And it will be Peter Capaldi's last story as the 12th Doctor. And it will also feature David Bradley as the first Doctor. So yes, that's when the Christmas special is on. But when is Series 11 of Doctor Who on? Well, a BBC spokesman said that Doctor Who will not air until autumn 2018 at the earliest. So yes, we have over a year to wait. At least. He said the earliest. Another source said that Doctor Who may not air up until autumn 2019 at the latest. So yes, yeah, Series 11 of Doctor Who may not air in uh, the time period of Autumn 2018 to Autumn 2019. So we either have over a year to wait, or over two years to wait until Doctor Who returns. So yes, what do us Whovians do in the meantime? Well, there's Classic Who you can watch. Something before Series 9 I wasn't really into, but then after Series 9 I thought... What else is there to do? So I decided to watch Classic Who. And yeah, you may think it's a bit boring to start with. But actually, it's really good. The people who say it's boring, I believe their lies. But it turned out to be good. So yeah, go and check out Classic Who. Really good series. 26 seasons. You don't have to watch them all in order or anything. Key to time, you may need to watch that in order, but it doesn't really matter. And yeah, loads and loads of different stories, not all available on DVD. The classic Who ones, the missing Doctor Who episodes aren't, but you can pretty much watch every Doctor Who story. Ranges from 5 99 to 9 99 normally. The DVDs, there's box sets as well, which are more than 9 99 normally around £15 or something. So yeah. Classic Who is worth watching in the meantime. And yeah, I really want to finish watching Classic Who in the transition between Series 10 and Series 11. As there's at least another year to finish it. And yeah, I'm hoping to be done by when Series 11 airs. Also, why not check out one of the spin-offs? Or all of the spin-offs, in fact, if you haven't seen them. I'm personally going to watch Torchwood again. I still have a few episodes of that left from Series 2. The Sarah Jane Adventures, I might go back to that, and I would recommend going back to that. K9 and Company is only one episode. Class, give Class a second chance. Yes, it may not have had good ratings, but it got good reviews. So yeah, if you haven't seen Class, go and check it out. It's available on BBC iPlayer up until October this year. And yeah, there's also a DVD of that as well. Rewatch New Who, that's something I may do as well. Yeah, may watch it up until the end of Series 10, so I'm refreshed for Series 11. I think Series 11 is going to be a fresh new start. Of course, it's a new Doctor, new Companion, and a new Executive Producer. So yeah, Big Finish, the Big Finish audios, something which I'm going to delve into once I finish collecting Classic Q. Already collected a few Big Finish, but I really want to expand on my collection between Series 10 and Series 11. The books as well, there's hundreds, literally hundreds of Doctor Who books. So yeah, if you're interested in reading some Doctor Who fiction, go for the books. There is a countless number of Doctor Who books. There's all the targets, then there's all the EDAs, PDAs, missing adventures, and loads and loads of different ranges. So yeah, you have plenty of reading to do. I probably have enough books to last me a lifetime in my Doctor Who collection. Haven't read many of them. So yeah, will I collect any more? Probably, but you know, <laughs> I have loads of Doctor Who books. I don't know how people read them all, as there is so many. And yeah, loads of things you can get into. You could even watch another series completely different to Doctor Who. It could be another sci-fi series, like The X-Files or Lost or something like that. Or it could be a non-sci-fi show, I don't know loads of non-sci-fi shows and loads of sci-fi shows which are similar to Doctor Who but aren't Doctor Who and yeah should go and watch and yeah that's basically what I have to say what you can watch in between the transition and basically 
when Doctor Who is back on. So, I still need an intro, so if anyone's interested in making an intro, please put in the comments below that you're making one, and then I'll give you my email address, then you can send it to me, and yes, if there's multiple entries, I'm gonna put each intro at the start of every different video, so yeah, if someone makes an intro, and a few people make them, I'm gonna put them at the start of different videos, so yeah, I'll have several intros if that's the case, and yeah, please make the intros under 15 seconds long, and yeah, until the next time, goodbye.